I'm Michael Elliott, and our next guest is Nora Levinson, President and CEO of Caden, focused on the intersection of fashion, wearable technology, and mobile applications. Nora believes the devices we wear today do not have to compromise between aesthetics and functionality. Welcome, Nora. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Caden is a new brand in the wearable technology category. Tell us a little bit about your company. Yeah, so at Caden, we consider ourselves pioneers in truly wearable technology. So by that, we mean, as you mentioned, not compromising the aesthetics along with the functionality. We've launched with a line of headphones holiday 2014, and we'll be launching our line of wearable technology next summer. Okay. I think our audience would love to uh, know a little bit about your background. I mean, you have an extensive background in the industry, so could you kind of expand upon that? Yeah, so my background's in mechanical engineering and product design, focus in embedded systems and mechatronics. Uh, I started working in product development and manufacturing in Asia very early on, straight after grad mm -hmm. school. So I worked at several major brands, including InCase, uh, Jawbone, Skullcandy, and Harman, um, living mostly in Asia, working directly with the manufacturers and suppliers. We also have a very strong team on the fashion side, uh, coming from Donacare and DKNY on the marketing and brand, and then on the software uh, application side from Foursquare and Spotify. So the wearable tech category, I mean, there are some giants out there. Give us kind of your thoughts on why you're going after that industry. Yeah, I think there are a lot of major technology brands who are entering the space. Uh, however, I think wearable technology eventually is going to have to become an expression of personal style. It's something very personal that people wear on their bodies. So large technology companies do a great job of building technology platforms and features, but not necessarily at building brands that people identify with on that level. I think conversely then, you have fashion brands that do a great job of building you know, products and brands that people really identify with. However, they don't really necessarily understand or are able to execute in the technology world. So let's talk a little bit about good design married with brand affinity. I mean, are these the keys really to user retention in this space? Yeah, I think that's one. You know, the first step is to get to get people to actually want to wear right. the devices, right? So that's one of the areas that I think we're you know very skilled in. We're in a unique position to execute on. But beyond that, there are major kind of user retention issues in the wearable technology category today. So I think getting people to want to wear the product from the aesthetic and from the brand perspective is the first step. There's also the question in health-related or activity monitors of how do you actually collect data that's useful to people, not just you know glorified pedometer step counts, right, right. but things that people can actually utilize and tell them something more about what their body's doing rather than you know how just what how they go about their day so is that one of the keys then to building that engagement process yeah. I think it's important to get really accurate data there are a lot of people who are coming out with heart rate monitoring devices but it's not very accurate and can only be used in certain scenarios so mm -hmm. I think the question is one how do you get the accurate data but then more importantly even how do you relay that to people in a way that's compelling and engaging rather than just giving a chart or a graph or a bunch of numbers okay. that people outside of the quantified self early adopter community can really engage with and find compelling. So let's kind of looking forward, let's talk a little bit about you know your current products and what your product roadmap looks like. Yeah, so for holiday 2014, we launched a line of headphones. Um, so they're very much going after the design aesthetic and having a really nicely balanced sound profile. Mm -hmm. So that's our product for, you know, the next six months until we launch our wearable technology or connected jewelry as we like to call it. So let's talk a little bit about what that connected jewelry will look like, what it'll do, the functionality and features of that, and what you're bringing to it. Yeah, so I think as we mentioned, the first very important thing is the aesthetics. We want it to look more like jewelry. So bracelet, we're working on a ring as well. Things that basically can feel like something you would wear anyway, whether or not they're was technology involved. Um, the second aspect is the data collection. So we're working with very accurate heart rate and working on heart rate variability collection. Okay. And then the third is how we then you know, make that data compelling to people. So there's some really interesting stuff that we're working on with the application in order to go from just graphs and charts into something that people can build a community around. So it's really then that merger of th this high, f not high fashion, but fashion that people really want to wear and then that link with the affinity to the data that's providing for them. And, yes. and that's part of the key that you bring to it, correct? Yeah, I think that people will purchase products based off of brand, 
based off of liking the design of it and being willing to wear it, or if they have friends who use it. And I think they'll continue to use it over time based off of the feature set and how compelling that experience is. So it's not just, we're not just out to get people to buy the right. product and throw it in a sock drawer six months later, or six weeks later, or six days. <laughs> <laughs> so with that then, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of new players in the industry. What trends are you kind of seeing out there? and What trends do you think are coming? Yeah, so I think, you know, wearable technology as a category is actually quite old. I mean, they've had polar chest strap heart rate monitors since the mm -hmm. 1980s, but those were very much focused on performance athletes. So I think that's kind of been how it has been for the past, you know, 30 years up until about the past five or so years when you start to see the Fitbits, Jawbones, you know, Nike Fuel Bands of the world. And everyone in this category is very much fighting over the fitness mm -hmm. kind of users. I think there are going to be a lot of people now who are interested in something that's more about wellness and day-to-day -day balance. I mean, if you think about it, you're really only in the gym for two, maybe three hours right. a week if you're lucky for most people. Um, so how do you get something that helps you build a balanced lifestyle for the 99% of the rest of your life that you aren't working out? And obviously Fitbit has been one of those ones that's starting to have a little more adoption outside of the gym. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us some other examples and thoughts of where you think that's going, not just from a, a from a Fitbit perspective, but when you talk about the health and bringing in heart rate monitors, and what, what is that gonna look like? What is that gonna feel like? Yeah, I think that's really a question of how do you utilize this biometric data to give people information about things that are happening throughout their daily life. So it's not just what you're doing, but how your body is reacting to what you're doing. You know, you can tell really interesting things about what's going on in your life, how that affects you, you know, whether you get more stressed out, whether you have really interesting changes in your resting heart rate throughout mm -hmm. time, um, you know, what happens after you eat a big lunch or have a lot of coffee, how does that affect you and how do you then encourage healthy habits? Absolutely, no, that's great information. Or well, anything you would like to leave our audience with as we conclude? Yeah, I think just uh, look out for our products coming out next summer, take a look at the headphones we have out now and uh, yeah, keep an eye out us, on us in the space. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Dora. We appreciate it greatly. Thank you.